Alrighty, let's play this in full first. It's short, let's play twice, and... Alright. There's some good timing in the ring, in the drop, good timing, the hang time already. I think the only thing I would say here... There's some detail stuff I will talk about. I'm not sure you need that weight shift. There's something about these uh, being a bit too default. I know you're not obviously fully done, you know, as you mentioned in the email. Uh, I would just think about, I mean, this is an exercise, so it's totally fine. Like my, the initial thing would be, watch out, just kind of this gray plane. You got object displays, or you got the, the, the heads up display in there. It's not the best in terms of like the line of action and just the curvature, everything to have straight on. It gets also very twinny. You know, the beginning post could be a bit more dynamic, but these are all, you know, like add-ons to if you want to make this a bit more appealing and interesting for a reel. But since this is a uh, an exercise, I think that's totally fine. I would still just for practice reasons, just give this a little bit of a an offset asymmetrical pose and pose that at the fingers. But that is all detail work. I'll be more concerned with stuff like this. Just kind of clean up of arcs in the, in the section. So no intersections and this feels like an, almost like an IK arm. I'm not sure if you're doing it. It's an IK, I don't know if it is. It feels very straight going up here. And then it kind of locks. That's why it's giving me a bit of an IK vibe. But then again, unless this is tricky, a turn in IK, unless you have, you know, the control out here. And that's why we have that overextension. <clears throat> so uh, let me know. So look at this. It kind of doesn't, kind of doesn't feel like IK. So watch out for, for that. It also is a bit post to posy where everything kind of starts to way go down and then again arc wise if you track the head because again i'm not concerned about the weight i like the weight aspect of it me it's just clean up in terms of if i'm trying to track kind of the middle of the skull here somewhat it's a bit misleading but i think you will get whoa you get my point right so if i do this you can see this moment like that is your curvature so there's no real arc it's too straight and the one frame direction change so just work on that this gets a bit um <clears throat> stiff as that arm comes out from here to here hold on turn off the onion skating and then it just kind of stays put there i don't mind it dragging because this arm is doing all the work but then at the same time it starts like an, with anticipation but then i would go out and then have that be out straight. And that's the arm that leads the whole thing. Right now, she starts, but then the jump is mainly initiated by the head and the chest. Not that it's wrong. I mean, you can absolutely just jump like that if you want. It just doesn't seem as... It seems weirdly stiff to have that going on. This arm just kind of staying put. So uh, let me know what, what you're going for. It feels like you're almost starting to dissipate this, but then you don't have the arm lead. So we can get to that point where, you know, it would rest there after the arm was leaving. I know, to me, I would go down and then, <coughs> excuse me, um, pull out that arm. And that's the arm that drives that. But also what will help by kind of tweaking this pose is that you have stuff like this here where the silhouette's kind of wonky. just kind of comes out of her head. You just have an elbow. That gets a bit better, at least in clarity. But then that's again very straight through there. It's just general cleanup and arcs. It almost feels like you want to overshoot a bit with the with the chest rotation and even the root a little bit in her arms. And then she can come back during the landing and recover. Because the thing is, she starts this rotation, right? The moment you start that, you can't just stop in midair. Like that momentum is going to continue. It's going to continue to rotate. And right, it feels like you're rotate curve goes boop, like that rotates and then stops rotating once you hit this because it's just a straight down so to me i would just overshoot a bit more maybe she just rotates only up to here ish and then as she lands down uh she goes down she continues to rotate a little bit it just seems very straight one axis so just keep going without i think in terms of this just not suddenly stopping because we're back to facing the camera going down you know, at one point you will stop rotating, but I would just kind of smooth that out a little bit. For complexity's sake, you can probably land in a different spot. I don't think you're landing in the same, but 
you are. Okay. So, see, to me, it would be... Just generally, even as an exercise, give this a bit more of a, a, a dynamic or at least offset pose. Because then that's going to help you with all the different posing of the arms and actually gets into this. And then the jump can even be, you know, you start here, but you end here. So you have a bit of a sideways arc. And if she goes this way, I don't know, I will actually jump from here to here. Something like that. I mean, all of that is going to help you. Even if she has a little bit of side jump and momentum, even that landing will continue a bit that way if that makes sense spacing wise that feels really fast the going up here bang dang just hits that wall and even her arms are a bit fast everything feels like she's slamming things down and then your arm is countering a bit too much right towards the end it almost starts to feel like a sticky point here in 2d space and screen space and then suddenly we slam down over one frame where I would make this a bit more gradual. It's almost like we were a bit late by frame. And just watch out you don't stick so much and then suddenly slam down. Again, I would add a couple of frames so it's not a slam down. Soften that a little bit. Same thing with the other arm. The spacing feels a bit better and it's less sticky. But then same idea. And then as you come up, then it gets a bit poppy. A little one pop, one frame pop here. And like I said, she comes up a bit harshly. The head and the body just kind of, bam, stop. And even when you start, even in exercise, I would just get into the habit of going away from the default. So just kind of bring out those the feet, rotate them out one more than the other, just for asymmetry. Just getting into that posing kind of habit so that it's kind of part of your first pass workflow. Does that make sense? All right, that's kind of that. That's what I have. Hope that is uh, helpful. Email me uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.